Hey there, everybody. Sage Popham here, founder of the School of Evolutionary Herbalism. And I woke up this morning and my sinuses are a little congested. I got the little scratch in the back of my throat. And it's that da 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 moment when you start to feel like you're getting sick. I had that this morning. And so, what do you do? Right? It's this big thing. Like, what do you do when you're starting to feel sick? And, um, you know, when we look at the alternative products industry, the alternative medicine, herbalism world, there's kind of this standard way of thinking about what you should do when you're starting to feel sick, when you're starting to come under the feel under the weather, right? And what is it that everyone says? They say, oh, you gotta go get your echinacea, you gotta, you know, do a loading dose and just be cranking those herbs so you can nip it so you don't get sick, right? And, um, while that is a very common approach to treating a common cold, is that really a good thing to be doing? Is that really a holistic approach? Is that really vitalist? And I think when we're thinking about true holistic herbal medicine, we're thinking of being a vitalist herbalist, we wanna ask what is the vital force of the body trying to achieve? What is the intelligence of the body trying to inform us and a critical factor in vitalist understanding of of nature of health of, of plant medicine is that a symptom isn't the problem you know in modern medicine we think of the symptom is the problem that we need to get rid of but from a holistic standpoint we see that a symptom really is a language it's a way of it's a mode of communication from the body saying hey something's off either the way what you're eating or the way you're living or something between your internal ecology and the external ecology is off and so we want to look at that communication and listen to it and, um, you know, the common approach of taking five squirts of echinacea every hour um, to nip it so you don't get sick, I don't really believe that that is um, a very vitalist approach. In fact, I think it's a, a little bit of an allopathic approach uh, to using herbs. It's a very non-traditional usage of echinacea. And uh, what we see, you know, makes me think of this quote, which is, there is no cure for the common cold because the common cold is the cure. It's that there comes times when our vitality is low. You know, I've been on the road, traveling, holidays, I probably ate a bunch of stuff I shouldn't have, running all over the place, not getting as much sleep as I would normally get, and kind of ran me down a little bit, and now my body is responding to that. And so, there's that question of what do you do? And um, my approach these days has been honestly a little bit more hands off, right? I kind of want my body to do whatever it needs to do in order to re find its own balance again. So um, I'm sitting here at my kitchen table and there's a couple things that I'm doing this morning from an herbal perspective, but very, very gentle and simple. I, got, I made myself a little bit of ginger tea with some honey in it, uh, the little bit of a scratchy in the back of the throat, a little bit of damp accumulation uh, in the sinuses, a little bit of coldness in the system. That ginger is really wonderful for warming up, increasing circulation. Of course, it has a very broad spectrum antiseptic properties as well, but ginger, it just feels really good. Also, um, we've got some of our elderberry syrup that we uh, made this fall, or more Whitney made this fall, and uh, from some of the elderberries, blue elderberries that we picked out here on the land. And um, you know, the, the elderberry is a really wonderful remedy uh, for the immune system during uh, the cold season. I like it acutely, uh, but I, I also like to use it as a preventative. I really consider elderberry to be not just an immunostimulant, but an immunotonic in the sense that it actually can help to build and restore a uh, worn down and depleted uh, immune system. And then the lemon. There's something about lemons that, that I really, really love during um, this kind of phase. Uh, I think citrus in general is really, really wonderful. 
um, during uh, the onset of, uh, of uh, some sort of an acute cold. And uh, so I'll be eating and drinking lots of lemons these next few days. But the number one medicine is rest, right? Your body is trying, my, my body is trying to communicate something to me right now. Like, hey, you need to rest. And, you know, Whitney and I were talking this morning and I was like, well, I got all this stuff to do. We had a lot of freezing weather, broken water lines. I should probably get out there and be fixing them. And it was like, no, like the body is trying to tell me something right now and I need to listen to it. So I was just thinking about that this morning and I was like, hey, maybe we should share a little video about cold season. I'm sure there's people around you that are getting them. And I just wanted to share a little bit of my kind of perspective and some things that I think of uh, in terms of this polarity between allopathic and holistic herbalism. It's been on my mind lately. So what do you do when you get a cold, right? What's your approach when you're starting to feel the little sniffle, the little tickle in the back of your throat, that little feeling of like, uh-oh, I'm starting to come down with something. What's your approach? What do you do? and uh, post that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear what you have to say and uh, what works, what doesn't work. Uh, what do you think is a appropriate response um, at the acute onset of a, a cough, cold or something like that. So thank you so much everyone for checking this out. And with that, I'm going back to bed. <laughs>